Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm breaking down two acronyms that often get tossed around in the IT world. Security Operations Center or SOC and System and Organization Controls, known as SOC2. Confusing, right? Don't worry, we'll clear this up faster than a cash refresh. First up, the Security Operations Center. Picture this, it's the epicenter of your company's cybersecurity efforts. The SOC is like the digital version of the Avengers HQ, where a team of security analysts and engineers monitor your network 24 7 They're looking for threats, responding to incidents, and making sure your data stays as safe as Fort Knox. Think of them as the unsung heroes who prevent your systems from turning into a hacker's playground. Now, jump over to System and Organization Controls or the other SOC. This isn't about active defense, it's about proving you've got your act together. SOC reports are basically detailed audits that show how well your organization manages data security, availability, processing integrity, confidentiality, and privacy. It's like getting a report card for how well you follow the rules and secure your systems. Companies use these reports to demonstrate to clients and stakeholders that they're trustworthy and compliant with industry standards. So, what's the main difference? The SOC, Security Operations Center, is all about live action, detecting, analyzing, and responding to threats in real time. It's proactive and operational. Meanwhile, the other SOC, System and Organization Controls, is all about documentation and proof. It's reactive and compliance-focused, showing that you've got the right policies and procedures in place. Here's a funny way to remember. Think of the first SOC as the bodyguards who are always on duty, ready to tackle any threat. The second SOC is like the accountants who make sure you've got all the receipts and paperwork in order. Both are crucial, but they play very different roles in keeping your organization secure. All right, let's recap. Security Operations Center, Real-Time Defense, your Cybersecurity Command Center, System and Organization Controls, Detailed Reports and Audits Proving You're Following Best Practices and Industry Standards. Both are essential, but don't mix them up. Hope that clears things up. If you liked this breakdown, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights. Until next time, keep your systems secure and your data safe. Peace out.